don't want to comment and you have something more to say, when you get something off your chest, you can also give us a call live, 740-527-3447, and let us know what you what were you thinking about it. So, all right. This one is more on Ramon's side. Ramon's been doing... You know, he's been doing the dirty work. He's been he's been scouring through all the tapes, all the lost footage, the, the handheld camera footage of the what I'm calling the Johnny Depp and Amber Turd case. Um, so <laughs> Ramon. Do, you know one, do you know what, mate? One thing I will say is when we first started doing like content and that and I said to you, what is it? I, what in you know, you asked me, you said, what is it you love about America? And I went, oh, you lot are crazy. And I said all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. And I said, you've always got news. Like for me, this is like a dream come true. The last time I had something this exciting was when everyone was up in rage because Trump got elected and it just was like a meltdown on social media. So for <laughs> me, it was just like, it's, it's an endless conveyor belt of news. This again is an endless conveyor belt of news. And today, has just been it's been bonkers like I've, it's just it's crazy it's absolutely crazy i mean well let, let us fill us in what's right, crazy okay, what right. happened right cool so continuing on from last week um they broke over the weekend from thursday till today and it picked up with um johnny, johnny depp um being cross-examined and the attorney of amber heard still sort of picking away at johnny depp's antagonizing him in the way that he was asking questions and every time johnny depp was trying to respond the attorney would just jump in again and yeah and that attorney's been a real he's very rude very douche, very yeah. rude um there was like not a, good like not usually lawyers like who are doing that you can tell oh, well he's he's doing lawyer stuff but no this guy's doing like a really bad version of lawyer stuff yeah and he was he was saying things like you know talking about his drinking because they're trying to now push on from it being an abusive like him beating her up and stuff because they've got no evidence clearly they're moving on to it being about him abusing himself and taking drugs which to me what's that got to do with uh, you know amber heard unless he's actually doing something to her which he hasn't there's been no evidence that he's done anything and he made a comment and said it's not just amber heard uh, that didn't like your drinking there's been other people haven't there and johnny depp looked up and he went he goes your daughter lily rose doesn't like it either does she and i thought where are you going dude like what right have you got saying that like you've never spoken to her you don't know her do you know what i mean so he's trying to antagonize him and i think he's trying to get a raise out of him and if he shows any sort of aggression while sitting there being cross-examined the jury are going to be like ah <laughs> so i think he's done well to keep his call yeah well he's of course he has but like also the the, the lawyer's job is not only to, you know, get Johnny Depp, you know, to get him riled up so he looks bad, but it's also to paint a picture for the jury, you know, like yeah, a, yeah, a yeah. jury of a man unhinged who can't control himself, who has, uh, you know, dependencies on, you know, alcohol and drugs. Like he's painting a picture because when you think of an abuser, when you imagine an abuser, people typically imagine somebody who has other troubles going on in their life. And so uh -huh. this lawyer is trying to paint that picture it, because from what it seems like to be a lack of evidence of actual, you know, like actual abuse taking place. So they got to paint the picture and then fill in the blanks. But this is also all of Johnny Depp's defense. Like this is not we Amber Heard's side has not actually come out to part of this trial of what she has to present as evidence against Johnny Depp. So that's what I mean. Unless that's what I'm trying to say. This this attorney doesn't know his daughter. So how the, that's what I'm trying to say. Is there's never she's never made a statement. She's never done an article. She's never done a press thing. So how would he know that? He's just saying that. That's what I'm saying. So if you're painting a picture, you've at least got to have some sort of truth behind what you're saying. It's, yeah. it's like saying, well, your mum don't like you drinking, does she? She thinks she, your mum's ashamed of you, isn't she? Like <laughs> you, right. can, you can make up any old crap. Um, then he came about. This is this is how I know that they're getting desperate as well because he was saying this isn't the first time that you've had really bad trouble with the press is it mr depp and johnny depp's like what are you talking about and then he started reading that stuff from like variety magazine the new york times i'm like just just like posts about him like rumors like that's all part of being a celebrity like everyone gets trashed kim kardashian gets it yeah. kanye gets it. that doesn't mean that it's all true it's that's what sells papers so the fact that they, they're using tabloids... I was about to say, the, the lawyer like bringing up actual just tabloids? He's actually <laughs> bringing up tabloids and reading out... He's re, He was reading out the Variety magazine, and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, wow. this is a bit... This is desperate. Um, I like to bring in the evidence, um, this magazine article, <laughs> where it says Johnny Depp, <laughs> Johnny Depp is guilty of murdering 
uh, cows and pigs because he ate his hot dog. Do you yeah. know when we was watching Seven and we laughed and we was like, oh, wouldn't it be great if it said something like Gotham, something, the, the, you know, Iron Vengeance or something on the front of the paper for a laugh. That's right. what I'm, It's that sort of thing. It's comical. It's not... It's not reality. Um, I'll just say uh, a couple. Uh, oh, quick, sorry, Tom. Uh, no, you're fine. Uh, Jimbo uh, chimed in. What's up, Jim? Uh, he says, I watched the full day today of the trial, and her side is now trying to spin it uh, that he was that he cut his own finger off. Yeah, uh, I is... did. I did kind of see them going down that, uh, that bark up that tree rather uh, before um, it was I was watching some videos over the weekend of Johnny on trial and like they're bringing up tapes of him saying, yeah, in Australia where I cut my finger off instead of saying you cut my finger off. It, it's these little, little details you're going to nitpick, but let me, I, let me fire, let me fire away. So like she was with that regards to the thing with the, the finger, right? So towards the end of the day, they were saying this was towards or just after lunchtime, your, your end. Um, he was there's an audio that they played in the court where Amber Heard was talking about her credibility and he's saying you've got your you've got to stop spreading this rhetoric about me, he said. And she goes and he goes, You need to tell him the truth. And she says, I know, but what about my re reputation and credibility? That's yeah. that's her exact words. And he says and he said, Amber, you cut my finger off. You threw a bottle at my head. She goes, I know, I know. But I could, I don't know what to do about my credibility. Done. Done. She said it. It's on audio tape. She said on it. Tape. She said it. And Done. Come then, on. then there was there's t there's two more things that I mean it, we'll get into the there's, there's loads more but there's there's two more things right so um, one of them is she there is evidence to suggest that she sold footage of um, her when Johnny De basically last week in court they played a, a thirty second clip of Johnny Depp smashing up cupboards and stuff like that having an argument with Amber Heard. Okay, so it makes him look abusive and stuff like that. Now, I myself showed that video clip on my channel when I was talking about the court case, just like we're doing now, and my video got um, a copyright uh, message, and it and a lot of other people as well. Now, what it says on YouTube, if we post a video and we share stuff, if we play a song now by Guns N' Roses, the video right. will come up and it will say, this is property owned yeah, by... Yeah, because we don't want you making money off other people's hard work. Right. Right. So if you play that clip from Amber Heard's phone on your video, on your channel, what will happen is it will come up and it will say copyright owned by TMZ, which means she sold the footage from her phone to TMZ. Why is she selling footage? She set up a phone filmed him illegally then she sold it to tmz to make some yep. money yeah that's what, what does that tell you that, that's, that's what johnny's been saying he's been yeah. he's that's one of his biggest points he's made it crazy very, he's made it very clear to say uh yeah this illegally obtained footage of me seems to be out everywhere yeah it, it, and she's it, like i don't know nothing about it i don't know nothing about it but if if, if me or you know you should post it man and it'll come up on your channel as well like it literally you'll, you'll get a message and it will say copyright owned property of tmz I, 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 I try to stay away from those as much as possible. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> from the copyrights. Crazy. I'm glad. I'm glad you let me know. Well, th <laughs> okay. This is this is this whole thing. Like, I don't. I almost don't even want to talk about this case for like another week. <laughs> you know, like I just want to let things, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. come up and, and like maybe do a one once a week discussion about it. But like, it's hard. It, it's difficult when new things are coming to light every day. Oh, I love and it, mate. This this attorney rotten bottom or whatever the hell his name is yeah he's a rotten mr mr rottenburn like johnny depp's proper like it's so funny the way yeah. he cusses him like he, he cuts him off the attorney and he goes oh, oh oh i'm not allowed to respond i'm not allowed to talk oh okay and johnny yeah. depp just like, like looks away and it's just like yeah i was i was actually watching a really curious video um this weekend about uh body language and somebody uh, a body language analyst watching johnny depp on stage and, and or on, on on the stand and he yeah, made yeah, a yeah. very very good point he's like listen you're gonna see two different demeanors of johnny depp here you're gonna see one when he's being questioned by his lawyer and then he changes demeanor when he gets questioned by amber's lawyer and he says when he's getting questioned by Amber's lawyer, he comes across more confident. Uh, he doesn't stutter over his words as much because he That's feels true. And he's like, and if you listen to him, his speech changes. And he says it's almost like he's he's channeling like Jack Sparrow a little bit. It's a, he's like he's channeling this more confident yeah. character 
so he can be more confident in his yeah, response. More quippy. That, yeah. it, it was a, it was a very interesting video, and he breaks it down. It's like a twenty minute video. I, I do mm. recommend watching it. But uh, Seth, do you have anything you want to add to this Johnny Depp versus Amber Turd case? I want to throw this out there <laughs> with with that video clip where he's like smashing the cupboard yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. You know, he didn't know he was being recorded. Right. And and even though even when he didn't know he was being recorded. What? No, no, you, you, you oh, right. you said. Even even though he didn't know he was being recorded, he didn't lay a finger on her. He he didn't go near her. He didn't touch her once. Not not at all. He didn't he didn't throw anything at her. Nothing yeah. nothing towards her whatsoever. Yeah. All that, he did was pour a mega pint. Do you know what he said? And that and this this might be key to um, how he was acting that day. This was right after, maybe the day after, or maybe yep. even the day of his mom died like how so, messed up is that bro yeah well i didn't even know that until you just yeah 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 said yeah that. yep like so, that's, that's, that's when, when you things. think about it, but when you think about that though for a second right even if you're arguing with a partner and you're, you're not getting on you're going to separate whatever it's sad on both parties right i can understand that but when you look at the context of that the guy's got a drug and drink problem goes without saying that's that's his own demons right but then to think you're dealing with that and you're mentally unwell in yourself anyway, which it clearly is, to get up in the morning knowing you've lost your mother, you cannot cope, and then your partner sets up a phone, films you, and sells that video. Yeah. Like that, That when you put that in context, that's pretty evil, isn't it? That's pretty, um, that's yeah, pretty this, cruel. This is what I was talking about. I think, I can't remember, I think it was with Monty. It was a couple of weeks ago. It was Monty and I, were, we were the only ones doing the Sunday drive-by. Uh, drive by news and i can't remember if it was him i was talking to or one of you guys I, i'm losing i'm losing my mind in my older mm. age but i brought up the importance of not trusting video footage because you don't know what happened to lead up to when somebody pressed record and i brought up a specific instance in my life where i knew somebody oh, yeah, yeah yeah okay i was talking to you guys okay yeah where i knew somebody who had turned on a camera or you know filmed his girlfriend hurting him and abusing him and then I saw the other side of that. And I'm like, oh, so this is typically when you turn the camera on to play victim. Like it's you can't cameras. Yeah, the, the camera always tells the truth of what you see, but it does not tell the truth of what happens before or after that, that, that footage. What happens before mm -hmm. and after that is only two people or however many people know what actually happened are the people that were there. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's. It's uh, Johnny Depp's lawyer's job. It's Amber Heard's lawyer's job to prove to which truth are you going to believe? What led up to this? Was it Johnny Depp being irrational? Look at this irrational drunk pouring a mega pint, not even a regular pint, a mega pint of wine. That was so funny. It was just so petty. Uh, yeah. a mega pint of wine uh, because he's an alcoholic. He's out of control. <clears throat> and his mom passed away. <clears throat> but you know, it doesn't matter. Like, look how angry he is. Like, yeah, look how he slammed that yeah. cabinet. Yeah. You know, the only the only finger that has been proven so far that Johnny Depp has laid on Amber is the tip of his finger when she cut it off. That's I knew exactly where that was going when you started that sentence. <laughs> Do you know the other? The, just before I started going live, like it's the last thing. It's a short thing. There was um, a butler that went up on to, they called up as a wit, a butler, you know, like a butler. Okay. Uh, butler, yeah. And um, he works in London, various different places. He started off like with the Queen and stuff like that. So he's in high positions, this fella, yeah. So he's been called up to the stand. And in 2000, I think it was 16 or 15, he worked at a place in London, Mayfair is the area, which is like posh, posh, posh. And it was in a house. Johnny Depp went there for a month with Amber Heard. Then he went on a summer vacation somewhere the year after when this butler was asked to go again. And they asked him if he'd ever seen any sort of violence. He says, no, I've never seen any of them attack each other. I've never seen bruises or cuts on any of them. He goes, I've seen two arguments. One of them, um, it was just kind of like a, a, a couple's bicker. It happens. And he goes, the second time um, I was making food and... Johnny Depp moved, he took his arm off of Amber Heard and she went, what's the matter? Don't you love me no more? And then she started an argument which escalated and escalated till Johnny Depp left the room and went and locked himself in the bathroom. Yeah. Which which matches up every time Johnny Depp's had an argument with her, he says, I walk away, lock myself in the bathroom to keep away from her. And some random butler who weren't paid by Johnny Depp, it was by whoever, 
hired him or whatever. It's nothing to do with him. It's just confirmed and backed up exactly what Johnny Depp said. Yeah. He doesn't know him nothing, but he's just literally said the same words Johnny Depp said. So it's like, and that's literally when I went on live. Yeah, that, that so goes for that goes on Johnny Depp's side, and uh, even even more so is Amber Heard's assistant. I don't know if you guys listen to her, but oh, what a trip, I... Seth! If you haven't listened to her testimony, wow, she is she's she's got some grit, dude. Like she I is like anything. she's snapping back at uh, Amber she Heard's lawyer. Nuts. She's like, I've already answered that question. Why why are you asking me again? You're just asking me the same thing three different ways. Like she she's going up and she's like, oh no, I was not paid enough for this job. It's like this job was crap. I had to do everything for her. like. <laughs> she was it's on twenty. Yeah, she, go check yeah, it out, yeah. uh, Jimbo. She was on she uh, was on sorry she was on twenty five thousand dollars for about 10 years she asked more for more money off amber heard because she was like practically running her life her diary everything and then she said amber heard got in her face and grabbed her shirt and she was spitting in her face like who do you think you are like this was her pa this is someone that she's called up as a witness it's yeah. nothing to do with johnny depp <laughs> <laughs> uh jimbo says i just love how we know that johnny depp does cocaine with paul bettany and marilyn manson two of the most opposite people i can think yeah, of it's true, uh, yeah you know what jimbo you you say that and you you bring up a, a, a good point here i don't know if you meant to bring it up but like we have to remember when it comes to every actor every person me seth ramon anybody that you don't know on a personal level we, we you know what we want you to know about us uh and i'm not saying that you know us on film trigger or anywhere near like levels of johnny depp but like I'm saying like it, that goes for anybody that you don't know, especially actors. We think we know these actors. We think we know their lives because of what they tell us about the, their lives. You know, oh, Marilyn Manson. Oh, that guy's a freak. He cut his rib out so he can do inexplicable things to oh, himself. Yeah. You know, like we, we we knew that was true. And and then, then we find out it's all bullshit. Like it, it's, I was disappointed. It, it's it's a this the, the power of perception, you know, like Jimbo says, the two most opposite people, Paul Bettany and Marilyn Manson, are all just doing lines with Johnny Depp. You know, that's because you, you don't know these people. They they could be completely opposite in real life. And that's the thing about the case like this, this Johnny Depp, this hashtag, uh, you know, re, I, I forget what the hashtag there. is. Johnny yeah. Depp something uh, redemption or, you know, justice. That's what it is. Justice for Johnny. Or, and we listen, I, I like Johnny Depp. I do. But I don't know the guy. The, the, the guy obviously okay. has some toxicity in his life and mm. uh, he really does and that's not to say he's a woman abuser that was that's for the courts to say which they have said in the uk they he was accused as a woman beater then but like if you watch johnny w you listen to his testimony you hear how he talks he doesn't talk like somebody and this is more going off that one uh body analyst video that i was talking about earlier he really d dives deep into reading about uh, or talking about how what words Johnny Depp uses and how he identifies he calls himself he's like oh uh, you know I, I don't want to be known as a wife beater he goes somebody typically who's guilty of uh, of an accusation like that will do everything in their power to not use that term if they're guilty they don't want to associate that term with themselves but he's using it willy-nilly like I, hmm. I'm not a wife beater you know and he goes on to say that uh, Johnny Depp's uh, demeanor when he is talking about the abuse he went through like the way he kind of turtles like he puts his head down yeah, and kind of shrouds he when, he, when he yeah, talks yeah, yeah. because because this is somebody who knows that they've been abused now let it be that abuse that that, that can vary from per person to person somebody can call me a name and i i can brush it off but they call ramon a name and he goes and cries in the corner you know it, it's it's a matter of how you percept abuse yeah, you know yeah. and it's it, I think my, my my main point to all of this is we don't know these people and it's easy to jump on board and say, well, no, I know Johnny Depp. He's in like my top. He's in three of my mm. top five favorite movies. He's my best buddy. He comes over for dinner all the time. No, that's not true. You don't know these people. Mm. We don't know these people. We don't know what happened when that camera got turned before that camera got turned on or after it got turned off. He, he may have slapped the shit out of her. We don't know. It's the lawyer's job to... Um, I still believe I still prove that, I mean but... I still on the counter of that I still believe 100% she's the abuser but do I believe that she will get the one who gets charged no I, I don't because she's a woman I'm, I'm sorry I know that's a, a typical man thing to say but I just I'm, I genuinely don't like with all my heart I believe that he's I just believe like you say I think he's just a, I look at him as a drunk druggy yeah. 
not in a but not in a disrespect. I just think he's a guy who's been through a lot. I don't mean yeah, but I don't I, mean I, it, I don't mean, I, I, I don't I mean it like saying. that. Just, I, I would I like I love Johnny Depp. Said, yeah, yeah, I mean it like I just mean it. I think he's a drunk and a druggie, and I think the guy needs help. I don't think he's a sort of like I just see him as this like just like how I would probably be. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Just a dude that just gets out of his face and he's gone too far and can't can't get out of it. But that would doesn't doesn't define as a guy that goes around beating up women. I just right. I, I, in my brain, uh, I just can't see that it. That hasn't but... been proved yet. Uh, that that yeah. hasn't been proved. Yeah. Nothing that's come to light has been has proven that yet. Yeah. So. What's this, up, Seth? This case is going to get a lot more interesting once Amber Heard starts <laughs> uh, providing her evidence right. that she that's, has. That's that's what I'm saying. Like like we haven't heard from that side, and her the her how quiet she is. Like it's it's disturbing. Like, I think it's going to get nuts. I don't. It, it, I it is going to get nuts. She I, she. she She's giving me vibes of someone who has something up her sleeve. Like, yes. Like she, she's, you know, letting all this happen. She's like, yeah, I got this one thing though. There's like right. the one big thing that's just gonna destroy it, destroy it all. Oh, we'll see. I don't know. But real quick, she did get slammed by that makeup company though. See, she lied. You guys, you, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. They, they, yeah she but said, no, I, I, thing, I used, I used this makeup thing to cover up you know my bruises and that hadn't even been released yet the makeup company's like that's not true that's but what one one last thing i do want to i do want to say about this and it's it's bringing one more thing to light that i think is very important we've heard toxic toxic masculinity for years toxic ma ma masculinity i i get it and i i 100 stand behind there is that is a real thing but it's also bringing to light toxic femininity and that's that's important too that's something that it does it it needs to be known that that is a real thing. You know, that that's a two way street. It's not just one gender or the other. Yes. Dudes have done it worse for a long time. I 100 percent agree. But that doesn't justify women doing it to men either. Uh, I just want to make that point isn't it, clear. Isn't it very my, strange? My, my, isn't it very strange, though? The last month alone, we've been on here talking about content and stuff. The two big abuse cases have been about him and, and Will Smith. And it's not yep. that we're shouting at Will Smith. We all know what he's been getting at home. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? And it's the same. It's bizarre that it's happening again. That maybe someone else will come out and go, "Oh, my wife's been doing." And it's just, it's well, it's there. Like you've just said, it's just shown that there's. It's not all one yeah, way. Well, it's what it is. Is it's bringing it's coming to light because again, we don't know these people, but mm, we do know mm. what's in character and out of character of what we've seen. These are both seasoned actors that we've seen and heard in the public eye for generations, and. This is out of care. Will Smith, that what he did was out yeah, of care. Yeah, 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 hundred percent, hundred percent. And now it's bringing to light. Well, why? What's going on? Okay, the okay, the whole open marriage thing. But what else is going on? And then you start diving into this toxic femininity. Uh, and this is what's happening with Johnny Depp. Listen, Johnny Depp's always lived that rock star sort of lifestyle. He's always he's always been the party guy. You know, that's that's his thing. That's how I look at him, man. I look at him the same way as yeah, as a, as a rocker. Literally, you literally nailed it. I I think that's why I don't look at him just like other actors. I look at him like I would Axel Rose or Slash from from Guns and Roses. Like I look at or man Marilyn Manson. I could believe a bit more. If someone cut some come out and there's allegations against him, I'd believe that a bit more because he's a complete nutcase. Yeah. Johnny Depp is just a he's just a stoner, like, hey man, yeah, yeah. What? Like, yeah, but yeah, he, he obviously that's that's part of his his toxicity, you know. Uh yeah, but, but yeah. at the same time, we've never heard any allegations like this before. This is what what's what's the mm, new thing? Mm. The new thing is Amber Heard. So with that being said. Uh, I, I think unless there's anything else you guys want to add, I think that's going to cover our basis for the day.